Hi, I'm Jonas from CodeOnLife.com and I'll be doing a short unboxing video of the new PicoTech 2000 series Picoscope. Uh, as my site readers may know, I've been using their oscilloscopes for several years and the great people at PicoTech were kind enough to provide me with a sample version of the new series. And let's see what we can find inside. First, there's a lot of packing. It's quite quite well packed and would probably survive some light rain as well. Alright. And inside we can find surprise surprise a piece of cardboard. Oh cool. Alright, so here's the Picotech box and it seems it's the 2208B uh, MSO 2 channel scope with 100 megahertz of the maximum one. Oh cool, I have a letter in there and I think this is like the standard one minus the kind regards that you'll get. Uh, then uh, we'll find a manual, quick start guide, English, Deutsch, probably French, Spanish, so you'll know how to plug it in. Let's see. Yeah, shouldn't be too hard. You plug in the USB cable and that's about it. Alright. What more? Okay, then, then it's the scope, and this is this is really tiny. Wow, this is a surprise. I've had the previous models, and they are like eight times as large. The weight is quite substantial still. And you have the USB port, uh, you have the A and B channels, a normal coaxial connectors, then you have the arbiter waveform generator, and the digital part as well and nice LED light to show that it's on and connected. Very nice. And here's the USB cable. Standard one in Picotech Blue. Okay. Then we have probe and another. And these are probably rated for the 100 megahertz bandwidth. And there's a set of things that come included, like the probe ends and different different color accessories and so on. So two probes. And this is uh, for the logic level, the MSO. There is a connector that plugs in into the, this port. I think, and then you have the ends, and it seems that it also includes a set of these hooks, IC hooks. Okay, uh, then we have the Picascope software. I think you could download this as well, but it's nice to have a manual and stuff if you happen to lose the internet someday, and then even a cool bag for the scope. It starts to be a bit... Oh, you can fit fit most of the things in. Alright. And I think I'll be doing a review of this uh, quite shortly. Hopefully even over the weekend. Uh, so when you go to codeandlife.com you might find it already if you're watching this. A bit later than the day after I'm publishing this. So hope you hope to find you there. And thanks for watching. See you around.